Welcome. We're also continuing our conversation now with the Deputy Commissioner of New Hampshire's Unemployment Security, Richard Lavers, who's back with us to discuss the outbreak of COVID-19 and, of course, now what this means for Granite Staters who are laid off, business owners who have been forced to shut down. So a whole lot of uncertainty and a whole lot of questions. Thanks for coming back this half hour. Let's get right to it. This question comes in from Corral, who's asking, the dental office I work at is closed for at least three weeks. Are we required to use all of our personal or vacation time before we can collect unemployment? Great question. And with that individual situation, the reduction in hours would qualify them for benefits. Um, if they decide to utilize their paid time off, obviously that compensates them at a higher level than what their benefit amount would be. So it's really that individual's choice and what the employer may require of them. If they're not being compensated by their employer or the reduction in wages, they would qualify for an unemployment benefit. Okay, let's get to the question from Lee is the sole proprietor of a trucking company. So he's asking if his business is now affected, would he qualify? Yes, and that is because of the order that was issued today by Governor Sununu. Okay, Kim, school bus driver. And Kim is out of work because of, of course, remote learning ordered by the governor. So Kim is questioning tonight, what about the requirement that in order to qualify for benefits, you need to be out there looking for work? And that's a great question as well, because the unemployment program is not an entitlement program. It is an eligibility program, and part of that eligibility is maintaining attachment to the labor market while you are collecting benefits. But because of the severity of this crisis, Governor Sununu has made sure that in how the department implements this, that individuals while out of work for a COVID-19 related issue will not be actively required to search for work. Okay. Um, Patty is also asking tonight. So what about food service workers? There are so many of these suddenly affected, right? So if the restaurant that they work at is still open for takeout, but the workers themselves are not getting hours or they're not getting any tips coming in because people can't come in and sit down to have their meals. So would they qualify to collect? Yes, they would. So again, uh, with food service workers like other industries, if they have a reduction in their hours, a, re a reduction um, down to zero hours or a portion of their hours, they would qualify for unemployment. Again, we would look at the wages that they've earned during those prior uh, four quarters, and that would determine how much they're going to get paid in a weekly benefit amount in unemployment. Okay, Christy also works for a temp agency. Christy's asking tonight, I'm very limited on the work I can perform and my jobs have been canceled. Can I collect and then how long would it take for that to kick in? Okay, so Christy in that situation, yes, she can collect. I'm not entirely sure of the particulars of her situation, um, but uh, again, we would look to wages earned during those prior four quarters to determine what she's going to receive for unemployment benefits. Um, she would get that claim filed by going to our website at NHES dot nh dot gov or calling the unemployment assistance hotline at 271 7700 um, we'd get that claim filed and then for each week of her reduction in hours or complete reduction in hours while she's unemployed she'd continue to file a continued claim by going to that same website we collect some information um, and then in most instances those benefits are direct deposited into the individual's banking account okay um, jody this is an important question jody is asking if you you're pregnant and you work in a supermarket and you might be afraid of picking up the virus and then of course transmitting it to your baby, can you self quarantine and still collect unemployment? Yes. So Governor Sununu was very careful in his wording in his order that he issued this morning. So individuals that choose to self quarantine in addition to individuals that are quarantined by a health care provider or a government official or an employer. So if you choose to self quarantine, that would be a qualifying event uh, for what for eligibility for unemployment. OK, very good. Uh, one more before I let you go. This is from Tina, who's on Social Security, but works part time to pay for her prescriptions. Will she be able to collect if she's laid off? Um, generally, um, even without the changes announced this morning by Governor Sununu, part-time workers in New Hampshire who experience a job loss or reduction in hours are eligible for unemployment. But again, it is based off those part-time earnings, so obviously a lower benefit amount. Um, so that individual uh, could qualify as well as other part-time workers 
who experience a job reduction or loss because of COVID-19. So much valuable information. We can't thank you enough for coming by and sticking with us through two segments and answering all these questions. Thanks again to you. Thank you. And also we do want to pass along the website and that hotline number. This is for New Hampshire Employment Security. You can visit nhes.nh.gov or you can call 603-271-7700 if you're having any trouble with that website.